so I had a whole bunch of other presentations that I was planning on doing this round, one on email, one about writing groups, one about critiquing other people's writing. But I've been haunted. Well, not haunted isn't quite the right word. Maybe something slightly less haunting than haunted by this incredible essay called Writing in the Cold by Ted Solitaroff. A mentor I had during my MFA program, Leonard Chang, at the end of a workshop pointed us to this essay, maybe to uh, prepare us for what would be necessary when writing out in the cold. And I've been reading it over and over and over again in the two years that I've possessed it. It's, it's this fabulous essay that seems as relevant now as it was when he wrote it in 1985. And I thought maybe I'd share some of the lines that hit me pretty hard from it. I really find this essay so chilling. Well, not chilling in a bad way. I mean, it's just inspiring and even comforting about the life of the writer. He starts off pondering what happened to all the bright young writers that he saw in his role as editor of the New American Review. He saw so many writers with so much promise that seemed to have disappeared. The essay goes on to talk about the need as a writer to deal with uncertainty, rejection, and disappointment. And he keeps repeating these concepts in various ways throughout the essay. I know I struggle with my teenage stepson all the time with this idea of sticking to something, like the value of keeping at it. You know, why why not if you tried and it didn't work, why not just go ahead and quit? And I keep trying to find all these kooky, creative, bizarre, indirect or direct ways to help him see the value in the trying. But it, it's it's tricky to convince somebody that They're not going to get quick gratification, and they may not even get any gratification, but it's still worth trying to do it. I wonder where I got this stupid gene that has me thinking, I tried, it didn't work, I'm ashamed about it, I'm an idiot, but I'm going to try again, it'll probably fail again, and then I'll try again after that. It's not quite this pure. I mean, I quit all the time, too, when I'm trying something. But hopefully you get what I'm saying, just this ability some of the time to just stupidly keep at it like you're banging your head against the wall over and over again, and you don't stop. Probably if you're watching this, then you have some of this stupidity in you too. It's a pretty ridiculous quality in a lot of ways, and it definitely can be a problem in many parts of life, but it also seems essential as a writer. I also try to remind myself that rejection and uncertainty is not just something to be expected, but also a valuable part of the process. Uh, How much you learn from stumbling around in the dark. Maybe for this reason it's also important to remember this when you encounter some sort of success, to remind yourself that it's not all clear skies from here. My guess is that if I ever feel like I've got it all figured out, I'll be totally screwed. Thank you.